the star of Animal Planet's Pet Psychic, and this year's TV special, Pet Psychic Encounters, Sonia Fitzpatrick is America's most loved animal communicator. Sonia is the author of What the Animals Tell Me and Cat Talk, and the host of her family radio show. Sirius 102 on XM 155. Call Sonia with your pet questions on 888-4102-102. Mum's always looking at things from an animal's point of view. So to give her too much information really doesn't, doesn't do anything, um, because in the end it's going to all come from the animal anyway. from Lake Charles, Louisiana. He's a Hurricane Rita refugee. And I want to know why he's so aggressive and why she can't just like let it go. He goes so psycho on you. He goes, he goes crazy. When I go in to wake her up, I know it's coming. He doesn't like me. He blocks me from showers. He's part of the family and we want him to be part of the family all the time. Hi, Hello, he has a lot of issues, doesn't he? He has an awful lot of issues, not one, many. It happens so fast to me. It's literally like so quick and it's like a telephone line. And then suddenly it's transmitting, just like a radio, backwards and forwards, backwards and forwards. Oh God, he went through so much trauma, darling. Where has he been where there's been water around? Oh, uh, Hurricane Rita. He feels safe here. He's bonded to you. And he knows he's going to be with you forever. You've told him that. He has a tremendous close connection with you. And you have a tremendous connection with him, sweetheart, don't you? Because you've been with him before. And I'm not going to touch him because he bites, he tells me. And I respect that, and I'm thanking him for telling me that. And I'm going to ask him if he could be a little nicer to your family. And I'm going to tell him also that if some people come to the house, you know, he can be safe. It's okay for him to be nice to them. When do you not make the bed and let him lie on it? Always. <laughs> And also, you take food to him sometimes, on beautiful dishes sometimes. And thank you, thank you, he says, and he just loves the food because he says you share everything with him. But I have to tell you that he's happy here. He says, but sometimes you're a bit rude. <laughs> you're to a be bit rude. nicer to me yeah, then. <laughs> he said, sometimes you're a bit rude to him. Who was the lady he went for? He was a bit nervous of him. Oh, it was you. He said you're scared to death of him. He loves that, makes him feel very powerful. <laughs> he said you don't know how to handle him. And when did he nip you or try to nip you? Well, he tried to nip my toes getting in the shower. <laughs> and if I try to come sit next to him or pet him, he'll try to nip my fingers. Yeah, he says you keep your fingers to yourself. <laughs> <laughs> I just explained to him, these people really care about you. And he started to just change his mind a little bit. Sometimes these things take time, but often it can be instant. Is everybody looking at me? I'm telling him, yes, everybody's looking at him. <laughs> he doesn't do this. No, I don't think he likes it to you, darling. <laughs> I talked to him and told him how smart he was and that we'd really appreciate it if he could change his behavior. Isn't it amazing how she was able to communicate with him and how he came over and talked to Lisa? It's no, never happened no. before at all.